Hey friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today as you guys can see from the title it is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. So I did recently go out to Dollar Tree because I have been binge watching so many Dollar Tree hauls and also shop with me videos and I was on a hunt for a few items. I only found a few things that I wanted but there's a lot more that I've seen in other people's hauls and shop with me videos and I can't find those items in my local Dollar Tree. I don't know if my Dollar Tree is just slow and putting things out but I have not found quite a few things that I really want to get my hands on but I'm still going to show you guys a little haul so if you guys like any of this you guys can run out to your local Dollar Tree to pick them up so I do have quite a few things so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in I also apologize if you hear my daughter in the background this is the only way I can film during the summer when they're home is if she's with me so she's going to be in the background but the first thing I want to show you guys is this now Ryan already opened it but I am going to insert a clip of him playing with it and unboxing it just so you guys can see what the toy looks like Whoa, now, is it hatching oh. yeah it's hatching I'm smashing it oh my god oh my god I can see a cool dragon in there I gotta smash it more Wow, that's a cool one. Oh, that one's really cool. This is called Dragamons, and it's a dragon pack. It's really cool. So basically, it's an egg, and then they have to smash open the egg, and then inside the egg is a little surprise. It's kind of like those blind bags, except it's in an egg that they have to crush, and inside is a dragon, and there's a total of 70 different dragons that they can collect. So I got him two of these, and you guys, these are perfect for, like, stocking stuffers. I know Christmas is pretty far away but this is a great time to pick up random small things like this if you guys see it especially if it's only a dollar and put it to the side and it can be a really cool stocking stuffer gift so I'm gonna go back and get a few more for him to put in his stocking because he really loved this and since I showed you guys that toy I guess I'll stick with toys right now so I found these mini collectible hand-painted um beanie baby like toys and if you guys no, they sell these like at Walmart and Target and I think Five Below as well and they're obviously not a dollar in all those places so they did have a ton of different colors. I didn't want to go too crazy but these are going to be saved for their stocking stuffers so I got three of them. I actually got two white boxes and I already gave one to Ryan because I just wanted to see if he would have liked it before I put it in his stocking. He loved it so these are going to go in the kids stocking so I got this blue one. I got a pink box and then this one is a series these two mini boost collectibles so they can collect all of them and then in the back is all the ones that they can possibly get so again these are really great for stocking stuffers I've never seen these in my Dollar Tree this is the first time I've ever seen it so I did grab quite a few just so I can save and put in their stock the next item is going to be for Ryan if you guys have been following me for a while you know my son who's seven is obsessed with dinosaurs and he wants his room to change Dinosaurs, so we're in the process of doing that. We have a few things that we've already put in his room that's dinosaur themed, but I found this and I've never seen it at Dollar Tree either. So I got super excited. It's just a shadow box and has a bunch of different colored dinosaurs in the back and that is 3D. So it pops up and it's like a little wooden um, 3D sign in the middle. And I thought that was really cute to put in his room. So he's super excited about that. So the next item is going to be something that I actually was on a hunt for and I finally found it and it's these candlesticks and they are so cute. I think this is worth a dollar. I think the quality is really good. They're very heavy. Um, they're very heavy. So like I said, the quality is really good. It also did come in black. If you guys missed it, I did film a Dollar Tree shop with me. I will link that video down below if you guys would like to see that because in that video, I show you guys the other color. They do have it in black and I think the other shape they had other than the circle was, I don't know if it was a diamond or a square, but like I said, I'll link the Dollar Tree shop with me video down below if you guys want to see those. But I just picked up two white ones and I thought this would go really cute in the house. I also picked up this wine glass and yeah, I know it's a Christmas wine glass, but I thought it was really cute. It just says, Dear Santa, the wine made me do it. I love wine and I love festive wine glasses like this. I have a lot of Christmas ones and as well, I have um, Halloween ones. So anytime I see a really cute wine glass like this, I pick it up. I would have grabbed another one so it can be kind of like a set of two, but this was the only one that I saw. Next is going to be something else that I was actually on the hunt for and I found it and this was the very last S. 
I honestly would have gotten the first initial of all of our names if I could have found it, but they only had a few letters and they had multiple of the same letters. So this was the last S, so I grabbed it and it'll just be for our last name, Starling. And I think this is so pretty. It is a pumpkin and it has the S monogram up here. It's like a little burlap bow. And I think this is gonna go so cute in my house once I start decorating for fall. I'm so excited for fall and cooler weather. So yeah, I grabbed this one. I am gonna keep on going back. They have this also in orange um if you guys don't like this like neutral color they do have an orange but i want to go back to see if i can find the initials for like my family members like my sister and my mom and like my grandma because i know they would love something like this so i did look when i was there but they didn't have any other initials so i didn't grab any but like I said, this was the last S and I was so excited when I found it. I also found this really cute elephant. So I'm not too into elephants. I don't really care for elephants, but one, I thought this was really cute. And also my husband's favorite animal is an elephant. So I grabbed it and it's just a white ceramic shiny elephant. And I thought this would go really cute. I have a shelf here in my room and there's literally only two things on there. And so I need to find other things to decorate with it. And I figured this would go really cute on there. So I just grabbed that really cute elephant. This would also go really cute in a little girl's room. Maybe um, if you guys are decorating your kid's room, I think this would also go really cute in a little girl's room. I picked up some socks for myself. I have picked up socks from Dollar Tree in the past and I feel like they're great quality. Every time I buy them, they last a really long time. I pick up socks for myself and the kids, but I got myself these and this is like a sky blue with a rainbow. And then I just love like these pastel colors and it's just a pack of two. So I grabbed those. Next is just going to be some bath bombs. My husband's birthday is actually today. Well, when you're watching it, it would have been last week, but I grabbed this just to give him um, as an extra gift in his little gift bag. I have like a little bag that I'm throwing a bunch of like goodies in and he likes to take baths. So he's always stealing my bath bombs. So I just grabbed these and it's the green tea and shea butter and it comes with three. Next is going to be this cross. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be an ornament. It just says wood hanging decor. But what I plan on doing is having the kids paint this and I'll probably give it to my grandma, maybe my mom, but I'm thinking probably my grandma. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have the kids paint it and then that'll be like a Christmas gift. And I think gifts like that are really, really sweet to give to family members. I feel like they appreciate it so much more than if you just give them anything else. I feel like stuff from kids is so sentimental. And yeah, I know my grandma is really gonna love it. So I'm gonna have the kids paint it and then um, wrap it up for her. And since it has this little twine, she can hang it up on her Christmas tree or she can put it anywhere in the house. But I thought that was really cute and it's really thick. If you guys can, See how thick it is so i'm super excited for the kids to paint that so next is going to be a really cute magnet that i found so i don't put anything on the front of my fridge but i do put a few things on the side and i thought that would go really cute on the side of my fridge and i just loved the saying and then i also really loved the pink flowers that were around it so i just grabbed that and i'll put it on the side of my fridge then i found this box i thought was so cute and so pretty so i'm gonna rip off the little um paper that's in front so you guys can see but it says love your life and it has a bunch of really really pretty flowers and you can use this like to decorate if you want to decorate some area in your house like prop it up like that they did have smaller size so i should have grabbed a small size too but you can also um just like lay it down like that and put the smaller one on top or you can put a gift in here that's what i plan on doing is Maybe when I'm giving a gift to someone, just putting their gift in here if it fits. And I think that would be really cute. And I don't know, I just really love this box. I think it's so pretty. Or maybe I'll even put it on my bookshelf. Like I said, anything to decorate that bookshelf over there. So maybe I'll put that there, I'm not sure. But I just thought that box was really pretty. And I've never seen this design at my Dollar Tree. So next few things is gonna be for Madison. I always pick her up really cute like hair ties and bows from Dollar Tree. I found this really hot pink one. She has the same exact bow and white and also purple and i really love it so i grabbed her the hot pink one if you guys can see it does have glitter on it so it's super girly and i'm obsessed with it i can't wait to put that in her hair and then i also picked her up these little clips i thought i grabbed the gray one but i guess i didn't they had three different colors and the other color was gray but it's just like a really soft like fuzzy material and it comes in a pack of two so 
I grabbed these for her hair as well. So next is going to be this silicone brush holder. So I do have a silicone brush holder, but one is super old. And two, I was on a hunt for one that had like the suction cups in the bottom so that I can put it in the sink and it'll stay still while I'm washing my brush. And I just thought that was really cute. It's just a really bright watermelon. I think the other two designs I saw was um, a unicorn and a pineapple. So I just went with the watermelon and I thought that was really cute. Next is going to be this organizing basket. So this is random, but I needed this to organize some stuff in my pantry. I have a ton of water bottles. A lot of them have like clear lids and they're always just falling over. I can never find the lid. So right now they're just kind of like thrown in the corner in the cabinet. So I figured I can go ahead and store it in here. So once I'm looking for the specific straw or the um, lid, I can find it. So it comes in a pack of two. One I'm gonna put the straws and then the other one I will put the lids and it's just a clear pack of two um, organizing bin. Next is going to be this magnetic planner. And I thought this would be really cute to write things that the kids have to do through the week, um, it comes with a dry erase marker. It has some magnets on the back so you can put it on the fridge. So I will probably put this in the front of the fridge even though I don't like putting things in the front of the fridge, but I want Ryan to be able to see it. But it just has Monday through Sunday, like I said, with the dry erase marker. And then you can write down all the things that they have to do, whether it's chores, schoolwork, whatever they have to do. And once they do it, they can just take the eraser part and erase whatever they did off. So I think that is going to be really fun for him. He loves like doing checklists and stuff. So I know he's really going to love that and it just has a bunch of really cute sloths all over it. So next few things are gonna be like notebooks and planners, stuff like that. But I also had bought pens or at least I thought I bought pens and these are highlighters. I'll still use these highlighters, but I thought they were pens and I just thought they were really, really cute. So I thought I was buying pens in these really pretty colors with this really cute design. But like I said, I'll still um, use these highlighters and it's a pack of three and it has three different colors so I think that's a really cute pack of highlighters so I found these two sticky note little notebooks um they are from the brand Jot I just thought they were really cute so this one has a bunch of like flowers and plants and when you open it inside it has like a list tag that you can write like anything um, down there and then it also has all of these like little sticky notes on the side and I just thought that was so cute they have a bunch of different sizes so I don't know how many it comes with does it tell you no it doesn't tell you how many it comes with but still I just thought that was really really cute so I grabbed this one and it does have a velcro so you can close it right now it has plastic over it but it does have a velcro that you can close it and then I got this one same exact thing except it's a different design so the notepad is right here and then all the sticky notes are right here all these really really pretty flowers so this says you make me smile so yeah I thought that was really cute especially for a dollar and again it has the velcro so it can close so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them for it myself or if I'm going to give them away for gifts. I like to buy stuff like this randomly and store it away and then anytime I need a gift for someone I can just pull it out. So yeah I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or give it away. I just thought that was really cute especially for a dollar. Next is going to be two notebooks. So I like to buy notebooks to write in. I'm always writing in notebooks whether it's plans for the week, the month. I like to plan out a lot of my videos and stuff like that. So I just like to write a lot of things down. So I found this one. These have gold arrows in the back. It's just like a um, wood background and it's clear. And when you close it, it looks like that. And I thought that was really cute. This is by the name brand Jot as well. And then I also got this one and this one says goals. And the same thing, it has like the clear um, little front. So once you're done writing in it, you can totally rip that out and maybe frame it and that'll be really cute. But I just got those two notebooks. So the next few things I'm gonna show you guys, I'm super excited about because I've never seen this in my Dollar Tree and it is a customizable planner. So it has a bunch of really pretty flowers. It says um, 2020 on it. And yeah, I just thought that was really cute. And then I bought all the stuff to go inside. So I bought this one. This is, um, comes with six tabs and on each one, it'll say something different. So this one says monthly, weekly notes. And then these last three are blank. So you can write whatever you would like on it. And you put that in that little planner. And that was really cute. And then I bought this one. It comes with 40 sheets and it's just somewhere where you can write notes. So it says notes up here. And then you write down all of your notes on the paper. 
And then I also bought this extra sheet little packet. And this one just has days of the week. So it'll be Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, it has all the days. And then you can write what you need to get done that day. And yeah, I just thought that was really cute for a dollar. So this does already come with a few papers in it, but it's very small. I think it's, yeah, it's only 20 sheets of paper in here. So that is why I grabbed all of the extra paper. And then I just grabbed this just because I thought it was really cute. So I was super excited to find this. Now with the last item that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So I do plan on going back and probably not anytime soon. I'll probably wait another month and wait until they start pulling out with more fall stuff and then go see what I can find. So let me know in the comments if you guys would like me to do like another shop with me and also haul on other things that I find from Dollar Tree. And I'll show you guys all of the goodies that I find at my local Dollar Tree. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's Dollar Tree haul. If you did, please remember to give my video a thumbs up. Also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.